Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. Today we will be ranking every single Ninjago villain according to my own opinion, that is, and let's jump straight into it. Taking last place is Sensei Yang. I found that he was a pretty bad villain for Day of the Departed, and as far as Day of the Departed went, it wasn't my favourite in my favourite Ninjago special that's ever been released, and let's keep moving on. Taking second last place is Asphira. Now, I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this in the comments section, but I don't really enjoy the character of Asphira. She could definitely do better instead of wanting revenge all the time, and let's keep moving on with it. Taking third and fourth last place is Blanc and Ragmonk. I prefer Blanc over Ragmonk purely because of the colour scheme of their skin. I think they're both like twins, and they are pretty annoying in the Ninjago TV series for me. Taking fifth last place is Lloyd. Now, as a villain, as a child brat. Now I don't really, I didn't really fancy him as a villain. He is much better as the Green Ninja, and you guys might not know this, but he is my favorite character as the Green Ninja. Taking sixth last place is Skeletor, followed by Phantom, then Aceticus as we move up the ladder. Next up in 40th place we have Concha and Knuckle, then followed by Kozum, then 9th place, then in 38th place Goltor, 37th place the only leader Omega, and then in 36th place General Crypto. And then we have in 35th place the Blue, and in 34th place Dogshank. In 33rd place we have Griefbringer. Now the reason why I put Griefbringer so low is because for as far as Minus Beast goes, he could certainly do better, and the same with the Great Devourer in 32nd place, and the same with Lord Jira in 33rd, in 31st place, sorry. In 30th place we have Kilo, followed by Kalmar in 29th place, and then we have the Archer in 28th place. Followed by that in 27th place we have the Ice Ember as number 2, forgive me I do not remember his name. In 26th place we have Captain Soto. Followed by that in 25th place, we have the Skulls of Hazardor, and I really enjoyed this character, a really great bad guy. In 24th place, we had Unagami. As we saw towards the end of Season 12, Unagami turned into a good little kid, and let's continue on. Taking 23rd place is the Iron Baron. Following that is Bancher in 22nd place, then in 21st place it's Flintlock, in 20th place is Markia, in 19th place is the Ice Emperor, and in 18th place is Ultraviolet, following that in 17th place is Asphira, in 16th place is Mr. E, in 15th place is Mr. F, in 14th place is Scales. Following that in 13th place is King Vangelis, I really enjoyed him. In 12th place is The Mechanic, also another amazing villain. In 11th place is Klaus, Klaus was pretty great. In 10th place is Chen, Chen was a pretty mischievous and dark villain. Um, we probably don't think that of him, but if you look on various Ninjago websites, you find that Chen is a pretty dark villain. In 9th place is Plathor, Plathor is a dark villain too. In 8th place is Nardakan, really enjoyed him in Season 6, a great villain. In 7th place is Season 8, Garmadon. He was great, really loved him as a villain, but not my favourite Garmadon, as you're about to see. In 6th place is Crox, and in 5th place is Acronix. I just enjoy Acronix a little bit more on screen because he has more of a sense of humour than his brother Crocs. In fourth place is Moro. I absolutely love Moro. Moro is one of my favourite villains by far. Love Moro. In third place is Garmadon, the original Garmadon. I really loved him. He was an amazing villain in season two. And following that is in second place, Runner Upper, is the Overlord. Now you're probably thinking, why isn't the Overlord in first place? That is because Harumi takes first place. Now I know I'm going to get a bit of, probably a bit of hate in the comment section for that, but Harumi is my favourite villain by far. I love Harumi. She was amazing on screen and has a great backstory and everything that just makes up for that villain character. That classic Ninjago villain, I love Harumi. And just take into mind, this whole video has been my own opinion. 
Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.